Hi, welcome to Pomeroy Creative. Today we're looking at some of the new features in iDraw 2.5. Let's check it out. In this video, we're going to look at how to create pattern or texture fills that repeat in iDraw 2.5. Okay, what I've got here on the screen is just three squares that are just the rectangle tool. And I want a pattern fill in each one of these. And it's really easy to do if you just click on the fill, actually click on the color of it, and then you'll get the color pop-up or the fill pop-up menu. And you have color, gradient, and pattern. And you see pattern is already uh, populated with some default textures. But if you want to add new textures, it's just as simple as cl clicking, um, selecting something and clicking the little plus button right here. And that can be either be vector shapes or it could be an image. So let's just do some uh, vector shapes here. I'm just gonna create a few circles and I'm gonna make them black. Make this one a little smaller. Maybe a couple more. Just kind of a random polka dot kind of pattern. And I'm gonna highlight these objects and I could do it over here as well in the fill and stroke options and go to the Pattern tab and click Plus. And just like that, I've created a new pattern. And so to apply it to an object, I'll select that object, go to the Pattern tab, and click on that pattern. Once you've applied a pattern to an object over the Appearance uh, property window, you can adjust some of the properties of this uh, pattern, such as scale, angle, opacity, etc. So this is a really powerful new feature in iDraw 2.5 and uh, I just wanted to show you a couple of other things that you can do. If you drag and drop an image and I have a seamless pattern here which is from freeseamlesstextures.com these are all free to, to use but I just wanted to highlight this right here the creative common attribution license. So if you use these, just make sure you mention where you got them from. And uh, that's what I'm doing in this video. So free seamless textures.com. But they've got some really nice uh, high quality textures that will repeat. And so I have this image now selected. And if I go to pattern again, click plus, that's added that to my pattern palette here. So to apply it to this shape, I can go to my patterns and click the plus. Now this pattern is available to, available to me uh, to apply to any shape and I have still the same uh, ability to edit the properties of this pattern fill. You can change the angle, change the scale. Let's do another one here. Just gonna drag and drop. Here's some nice looking bricks and I'll add this to my pattern library. And I can get rid of the image now and add that one, scale that down. So these are really great. Now I can change the, let's just take one of these here and move this off to the side. If I resize my object now, you'll see that the texture flows seamlessly. This could be really useful for creating um, some web mockups or even, even using it in print, as long as you make sure you have some high resolution, um, seamless images to work with. So it's that easy to create and modify your pattern fills in iDraw 2.5. My name's Josh, thanks for watching.